your thoughts about Ultimate Cell Defense Championship as an event? So I'm excited to see where this will go. I think, you know, I showed you a couple of my drills. I have many, many more. There's so many ways that this event can change. Um, like, like we've talked about, if we had a bigger budget, the sky's the limit for what we could do. We could make it safer. We could, you know, I've got a lot of options. There's a lot of things we could do. Um, in my mind, I would like to see, to, to have it sort of take the shape like, I guess, Survivor, where, you know, you can have celebrity Survivor or you could have, you know, other martial artists, like where you would get a strict BJJ guy, a strict wrestler, a strict boxer, you know, people that are essentially one style and bring them together and see how they perform and see how they problem solve and things like that. I, I would really like to see that. Um, yeah, there's just so many ways that this can go. Uh, it's only limited by money, I guess. Like the imagination is there. I've been doing this stuff for a long time. I've written down many things and with a limited budget, I've been able to do what we do. And even like this, which is has turned out so good um, with a limited budget, you know, with a bigger budget, we could, this, the sky's the limit. We could do so much more. So I really want to see um, sequels, you know, I want to see series two and series three, and hopefully it just continues. We do one a year or even whatever it is, um, because it's always going to be different. You know, we could bring back everyone again, do all the same activities, and we'll have a different outcome. I guarantee it. Or we could just change up the events, and same thing. So I just think um, if we could do it again over a longer period so that everyone's a little bit fresher, um, so that people have time to recover in between events, that would be a good way to go. And yeah, I just think um, there's so many ways that this could go. You know, we didn't even explore like firearms and things like that, you know, depending on the country that we go to. Um, this could go in a number of different ways. So I like the empty hand personally because it's uh, prevalent to our country, but also worldwide. So what's the point in, you know, learning to use a, a pistol that if you travel to Australia, you're not allowed to have. Whereas these guys, they're in my carry-on lug, you know, my carry-on luggage when I get on a plane, when I go into workplaces and, and various other places, I have these with me at all times. So I like the empty handed stuff and I just think there's so many more areas where we can take that, that I'm really excited to see where it goes.